and she has no rear line of defense. It's this brittle front line defense of Donald Trump is a so-and-so. And once you get past that, she has nothing left to run on. And the point is that Hillary uh, ha cannot recover from what she's done as easily as Trump can recover from what he said. Uh, Trump in an hour can not say the things that he's accused of saying and uh, come across as he is, as a fair-minded, reasonable guy who'd make a heck of a good president. Uh, but Hillary cannot in the space of an hour or a year or 10 years live down what she's done. And that's the key to why I believe Trump can and will defeat Hillary because it's easier to undo what you've said and how you've acted if you've offended someone than what you've done in your past record. And let me just discuss this not from the perspective of a political commentator, but a, the perspective of the person who was once their chief advisor and was for 20 years. When you know somebody for, my God, 60 years, no, 40 years, not that old, 40. <laughs> when you know somebody for 40 years, you notice that the stuff that you knew about them when they were 30 has changed. They're different people. They always had a big nose, but not that big. <laughs> you know, they always had crazy ears, but not that crazy. And you, you kind of notice their change and their evolution over the period of time. And when I think back on the Clintons and the time I worked for them, it feels like a first marriage. <laughs> you know, as in, what was I thinking? <laughs> but seriously, back then, um, she was secretive. She kept her privacy. Uh, she got annoyed when anyone pried into her affairs. She was not above making a fast buck and exploiting an opportunity that came her way. But now, corruption and money-making is the be-all and end-all of this couple's life. They have gone from a romance in the 1970s and 80s to a partnership in the 90s to a RICO, a racketeering organization today, where Bill's job is to pass the bag and Hillary's job is to offer access and favors to those who put money inside of it. And whether the bag is called their personal checking accounts, in which they've gotten $238 million of speaking fees and book sales, about 200 million of that speaking fees, 